happening guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new BlackBerry Bold 9790 smartphone from Research in Motion. This has just been launched in India. Again you get this uh, cover packaging on top of the 9790. So you get 18 months warranty in India uh, from Reddington. Just let's get rid of that. Uh, there are some basic specs on the back here. It is a dual touch and type font from uh, BlackBerry just like the 9900. So this is a continuation of the 9700 series and first thing in the box you'll see is the new uh, BlackBerry Bolt 9790. I'm going to put that aside for the time being, going further in. You'll see the standard USB to micro USB charging cable. The standard BlackBerry earphones, I'm not going to open these because we've had a look at these before. They do come with an inline microphone and a lapel clip. Standard non-in-ear style earphones from uh, BlackBerry for the curve and then you get your documentation which is a start here booklet, a safety and product information booklet and uh, a connect me leaflet and the fact that this device is also NFC enabled so you do have an NFC chip on the back of the device you get the standard Indian pin style charger and of course you get the battery pack which is a JM1 battery pack so let's get rid of the rest of the things and uh, let's take a quick look at the device itself. It does come with a 1 GHz processor, so uh, this is a certain improvement over 9780 uh, that was the previous or the predecessor of this Bolt. The front has a 2.45 inch diagonal, 480 by 360 pixel display over here, which is a touchscreen capacitive display. On the top here you will see uh, the LED indicator light and the sensors, you'll see the earpiece and the BlackBerry logo. You do have standard physical buttons here instead of uh, uh, touch buttons, which you can see over here. And uh, you'll see the optical trackpad, which you've been seeing on BlackBerry devices. You have the nice uh, keyboard over here, which is tapered to either side. It's not as robust as the keyboard on the 9900. And I will show you that in just a minute. And on the bottom here is this matte finish black bezel which looks really nice on the bottom of the keyboard looks great on the right hand side you have the dedicated camera shutter button and the volume rockers on the top here you have the lock and unlock button right in the center of the device and on the left here you have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and on the bottom is the charging and data syncing port on the back of the device is a 5 megapixel camera with continuous autofocus and VGA video recording which is quite a disappointment from BlackBerry even today uh, removing the back cover reveals uh, the micro SD card slot and the SIM card slot and the battery compartment. So let's go ahead and pop in the battery and let's see if we can show you the interface of the device a little bit. On the back of the device you will see this really nice matte finish, almost like the torch, uh, the torch 3 that we saw, the full touchscreen torch. Uh, this back cover is almost like that. Very nice soft touch matte finish uh, back panel. Let's quickly go ahead and power on the device. So while the device powers on, let's take a basic comparison with the 9900, which is the closest competitor in the Bolt series. So in terms of size, you can see that it's the screen is also quite smaller and the keyboard layout is also quite smaller on the 9790. Uh, both of them are touch and type phones, so you do have full touch screens over here. Uh, on the side of the device, you'll see that the 9900 comes with a full stainless steel bezel whereas this comes with the plastic bezel that you've been seeing on the previous Bolt devices. On the back here you have the carbon fiber finish, the carbon glass and uh, the same uh, cameras. In fact, uh, the camera on the 9900 is not an autofocus camera which is the biggest disappointment of this device. Uh, but this one is an autofocus camera. Uh, you do have NFC in both the devices so no differences over there. So we have the load up animation showing up right now. I'm going to put my 9900 on the side. This is the new interface of the BlackBerry OS. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go into about screen and see what version of the OS we are on. So we are on BlackBerry OS 7 bundle 2083 or the 7.0.0.473 .0 .0 platform for the 9790. As you can see the rest of the things are over here. You have the same touch screen that you see on the 9900 or the new Curve Touch. Uh, this device is 3G and Wi-Fi, overall very responsive. Uh, you do have the same menu options over here and connection management in the top panel. 
uh, you will get your notifications in this notification panel and you also have this quick profile selector on the left of the device of course this comes with the new blackberry messenger and uh, you can customize that and of course uh, the app world uh, requires a data connection so we'll have a look at that later but let's quickly play a video and see what the screen looks like So the screen looks good and the speaker is also very loud so no issues over there. Uh, usually Blackberry devices don't have issues with the speaker or anything. The touchscreen seems responsive, size and the feel of the device is pretty good and it's a pretty slim device. It's only 11.4 mm thick at the thickest point which is over here. So uh, compared to that it's a fairly slim device compared to the previous devices. Blackberry promises a talk time for about 5.2 hours with the device so that shouldn't be a problem as well. So there you go guys, this was a quick unboxing and quick look at the new BlackBerry Bold 9790. Uh, this is a cheaper version of the Bold 9900 which was taken out some time back. So if you are in the market for a BlackBerry in the premium range but don't want to pay as much Bold 9900, you can get the 9790. This is a continuation of the 9700 series, fairly slim and a good function device. The biggest thing that they've done is added the 1 GHz processor. And of course you get uh, liquid graphics which is on the device for uh, the OS and of course you do get a capacitive touch screen. Of course you get BlackBerry OS 7 so you'll get all the new features including the new messenger, the new app world and a bunch of free applications that BlackBerry is giving away. So there you go guys, this was a quick unboxing and look at the new BlackBerry Bold 9790. For more unboxing videos, reviews and tutorials, log on to iGAN.in. If you have any questions or queries regarding this product, log on to our forums and uh, we'll be happy to sort you out. If you have any comments or feedback, leave those in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. For iGAN.in, Thank you guys for watching.